In this video we're going to look at how a siphon works, but before we look at that we need to think about how a normal flow works. So if we imagine a, a simple flow where we've got a tank of water with a pipe coming out the base of the tank and there's water in that tank and it's filled to a certain level H. What we're going to do is we're going to get a flow of water out of that tank. And the reason for that is that water always flows from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. So if we think about the interface here between the tank and the atmosphere, we're going to have a force pushing the water in this direction proportionate to the pressure from this height of water. So this water is pushing down giving us a pressure which is giving us a force pushing this water out and because it's only touching atmospheric pressure which is lower than the pressure from this water it means that we're going to get the water moving in this direction from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. A few videos back in this series we looked at uh, analysing this system using Bernoulli's equation to show how the height of water h leads to a flow mathematically so if you want to see a more analytical explanation of this I'll put the link to that video in the description but what we can now think of is what happens if we have a, a system with a siphon so the same tank of water but instead of the pipe coming out the bottom the pipe now loops over the top of the tank and comes down to the bottom this way So what's going on here actually is very similar to what's going on in the previous example. So we have the same height of water H, it's the same pressure in this tank and we're also uh, discharging to atmosphere at the same level. So actually physically the difference in pressure between this point in the system and the tank is going to be exactly the same so we would expect the flow out of this pipe to be the same. The key to this is that the pipe is full of water. If the pipe is not completely full of water, then what's going to happen is the pipe is just going to empty itself out and the flow will stop. But the question here is why does the pipe not empty itself when it is full of water? So imagine this pipe is full of water, why does it not just empty itself and stop under that situation? And the reason for that is like in this example water is flowing from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. Water will always follow that law, it will always flow from a high pressure to a low pressure. So if we think about the water inside this pipe, if it's full with water there's no way for air or anything else to get into this pipe because it's completely full of water. So if the water in that pipe tried to separate itself, so if it tried to fall down this way and fall down this way, Because there's no way for anything else to get into this pipe, what that would mean is in this section of pipe here, we would need a, we would end up with a perfect vacuum. So there's no way for air or anything else to get into this pipe. So if the water in this section separated, the area left would be a perfect vacuum with a pressure at zero. So by definition, if the water was to separate itself, inside that vacuum would have a pressure at zero we know that the pressure on either side of that vacuum would be more than the pressure inside that vacuum, so the water would just close itself up. So there's no way that we can get the water separating itself because the pressure on either side of the vacuum is always going to be more than the pressure inside the vacuum, so that would always just close up the gap. So because of that principle, because we can't get air going inside the pipe, that pipe is always going to remain full and the water will always hold itself together because of that principle of it always flowing from a high pressure to an area of low pressure. So if the pipe is full, then this system is behaving in exactly the same way as this system, and the flow coming out of the full pipe is just going to be proportionate to the difference in pressure inside the tank to the pressure at the outlet of the system. And that is how a siphon works.